What we're in the process of doing now is preparing the surface for our uh, to lay our surface tapes. What I like to do to ensure they have nice, pretty straight tape lines is actually go ahead and mark where the tapes are going to lay. Here's some areas on the top of the wing where you can see where we've actually marked. I use a two inch, this happened to be an old Venetian blind, works very well. You can actually just pull a piece of tape uh, and mark it at both ends and then pencil mark both sides for reference lines. The main thing is that we want to be able to lay out real nice, pretty straight tape lines. If the rib is slightly crooked under the tape, you're much better off to maintain a straight line with the tape because that's what your eyes are going to go to. A little bit of uh, slight curves on the ribs are not going to really show through the tape. The crooked tape is very, very obvious, so it's important you get these straight. If I do, I've got a center mark on, the, uh, on this two inch wide piece of uh, blind. And what I do, I just lay that on the center of the rib, make me a reference mark, and of course I've got the other half here where I'd already started. So I just lay that blind down into place. And again, this is just strictly a reference, not real critical, but it gives you a target to shoot to when you're doing the, uh, when you're actually laying your tape down. Okay, we've marked off our tape lines here. What we've got is our fabric tape. What I like to do is take all of my tapes and I pre-cut them and I leave the tail on, leave them a little long. And we're going to try to, on these, what I like to do is start my tape run right at the edge of the junction of the, of the leading edge. And that puts this end of the tape at the center of our finished tape. It makes a real nice looking finish. And very easy with this system to get every one of these started at the same spot. So what I'll do here, I pre-cut all the tapes. Go ahead and demonstrate the gluing procedure for this. What we've got is a small pot of glue here. And on this I'll use a two inch brush. You're going to see that the procedure for this is a little different than what we used before. Gluing fabric to fabric, we'll go ahead and uh, glue directly into the wet glue. There's uh, good pre-adhesion to this. The main thing is get this tape laid real straight on your reference mark. Lay it into the wet glue, brush down through it. You want to get a nice uniform change of color. If you need to, you can dip your brush and get just a little more glue if necessary. Now, at this stage, so we don't have any glue line showing, same procedure again. Just going to wipe the surplus glue off of here. Main thing is don't have any wet, slick, shiny areas because that's an area of a glue ridge that's been developed that'll tend to show through your finish. Now what we're going to, what we'll do here now is we're going to pre-glue each tape anywhere from about a two to three inch glue seam all the way down the wing. By the time we get to the last tape, this one will be tacked off to the point that we can start to handle it and it won't move. Okay, we've got our, the nose of all of the tapes are glued down, they're pre-glued in place. And the beauty of this is that we can do this in stages. And as you can see, we can actually work this. The elapsed time from when we stopped taping here has been about five minutes or six minutes maybe at the most. So you can see this tacks up fairly fast. We can handle the tape. So to demonstrate actually gluing the tape, I'm going to start with one of these short ones here go just a little quicker and we'll give you the gluing techniques for this again we have pre-glued that so what we want to do is you can see that's aggressively stuck we're going to just ease that back a little bit make sure we're glued up tight underneath there and we're going to brush glue down here for about a foot or so that's far enough just want a nice wet coat lay the tape down into that again we brush down through it And I want that not sopping wet, but I want to make sure that we've totally penetrated the pores of that tape. And again, a little spoilage out on the edges are not going to hurt a thing. Just wipe the surplus off of there. 
It doesn't have to be wiped a lot. Main thing, make sure there's not any wet, shiny areas left that are going to show through. Like, I don't use my towels so they get saturated. I like to keep fairly fresh towel. Now, we're getting close to the end here. There's two options. If you choose, if you want to stop your tape line right along here, for instance, what you do is stop gluing about right here. And then come back after this glue set, when you get to the end, you come back, then you can pencil mark this, lift it up, cut it off, and finish glue. This particular wing, we're going to run these tapes all the way to the end. But I'll go ahead and demonstrate that method on this where we can come back and show the finish. I'm going to actually stop gluing about right here. And we'll come back in a few minutes and demonstrate how I would actually finish that off. Okay, again, we just wipe the surplus off. Want a nice uniform color on the tape. Now, what makes this very nice, especially on a top surface like this, take the tail of your tape, put some masking tape on it, and now, because that glue's still wet, just very slightly pull this tape. Bring it around, stick it. Now what we've done, because this glue is still wet and that tape can slip in it, pulling that little, little amount of tension causes this thing to follow the concave curves of this fabric coming off the rib and we get a real nice tight lay all the way down the surface of that rib. Now again, we're going to do what we did on the nose. We're going to continue right on down the wing and finish taping these. Okay, there's one other area here we'll talk about on the tapes. And this is, uh, in fact, a couple spots here, the areas that you want to kind of watch for, is that when you're laying your tapes, you've got multiple tape runs. And you can get in issues like, here's going to be a finished tape comes across this trailing edge here. And really, the end of that tape preferably won't lay on top of this rib run. That'll, that tape will come and end right here. So what you'd have is the tape stopping here and then this tape is going to come across the top and finish this end. Uh, it's real easy to forget that if you don't pay attention. That's one nice thing about pre-marking these areas. It kind of flags these spots for you. Another example is right here is the edge of the trailing edge material. It really needs a tape to finish that off. This tape should be laid before these two tapes here are laid. Okay, uh, we've demonstrated a little bit of the taping here. The one tape, if you recall, I stopped gluing before we got to the end of the wing here and so I could demonstrate how we would terminate this tape at a Pacific location and then finish gluing. If, for example, if this tape was going to end right at the edge of this trailing edge, we could take our pencil, pencil mark exactly where we want that, or in this case it's actually going to end right here. That's where I'll actually end this tape. Since this is glued and it's stuck down, that's had a chance to tack up See, it's very easy now to lift this. If we wanted this tape to end here, we take our pinking shears and cut the tape off right here, brush some glue under here, lay it into place, wipe it off, and you've got a perfect end. Every one of those are going to end exactly where you want them to end. In this case, we're going to let it end right here. So what I'll do for demonstration purposes here, we're going to go ahead and take the pinking shears and just cut that and you can see we get the nice tape lay right at the end. Reality on something like this, you can glue right to the end, tape it, pull it up later, and just cut it with a razor because that edge is never going to show under your tape. 